Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwana's Kitchen. I'm Kiwana. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all on how I make a delicious, hearty, and filling stuffed cabbage stew. So, without further ado, let's go. Alrighty guys, to make my cabbage stew, I did start browning my ground beef off camera because we are going to be getting this into the slow cooker. So I just wanted to kind of get a head start on everything before I started recording. So here are my other ingredients that I'm going to be adding in as well. My sweet Vidalia onion, my celery, frozen carrots, and also some chopped sausage. And also guys, you can see that my ground beef did not render off that much fat. So the little fat that it did render off, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there plus add in a little bit of olive oil so that all of my veggies and the sausage can cook evenly okay so I did get that in there you might not have seen it but it's in there <laughs> and for my seasonings I have my thyme my rosemary and also my homemade seasoning and I'm only going to add in a little bit of that give that a good mix and then the remainder of that I'm going to add in once I get everything into my slow cooker so you want to just go ahead and give this a good sear until you get a nice color on your smoked sausage and then you want your veggies to get a little soft okay but you don't want them to get too soft because they're going to continue to cook in the slow cooker so go ahead and get all of your mixture there into the slow cooker and you guys know i love my crock pot liners okay they just make the cleanup so much easier once your meal is done so yes i love my crock pot liners so now i'm getting my chopped cabbage in there i use a medium cabbage and again you guys can see it's chopped and clean I'm going in with one can of crushed tomatoes, one jar of spaghetti sauce because I love a saucy stew, okay? You can just go in with the crushed tomatoes if you want, but I love a saucy stew. So now I got in my salt and pepper, and now I'm adding in five cups of water because I'm going to go in with three chicken bouillon cubes, okay? And then I'm going to go in with a bay leaf as well. You got to add that bay leaf into your stews and soups, I'm just saying. <laughs> so now I'm adding in my three bouillon cubes, and then we're going to go in with our bay leaf, okay? I got a large bay leaf. I did purchase these on Amazon, and they are huge, okay? Look at that. Look at the size of it. it it's huge. So go ahead and just get that anywhere in there. Just whatever <laughs> you can. Just get it in there. And now we are going to cook this on high for four and a half hours, okay? So here we are here, four and a half hours later. It turned out beautiful, guys. As you can see here, that color, um, the cabbage is even it's beautifully cooked it's not overcooked it's not undercooked it is perfect okay i apologize if i seem a little tongue-tied but guys i've been getting sick like on and off on and off um yeah i don't know what's going on but trust me when i say i am on top of this i got my ginger my lemon my honey i got everything on deck okay <laughs> so go ahead and take that bay leaf out and just give it a good mix and i made some corn rolls to corn rolls corn muffins to go with this and i did put you a bowl together so i hope you guys enjoyed my video of me showing you of how i make my cabbage stew if you did please give my video a thumbs up support my channel by subscribing and until next time you guys take care